It's been raining out like all day, so I'm stuck inside. Boring background today, no snowmobiles in it. We're gonna be looking at what I carry on my snowmobile and what I think you guys should carry on your snowmobile. If you're new here, my name is Max, and I make videos on how to fix snowmobiles, vlog myself riding snowmobiles, doing all sorts of little videos on snowmobiles, and then I'll be doing some motorized bikes and stuff. So, if you're interested, hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. <laughs> Is this. I'm probably not guessing what that is, but that is actually a foldable shovel. I'll show you how that sets up. Very nice thing to have out on the trail, especially if you're alone, in case you get stuck, in case you're riding in avalanche weather. Make sure you keep that on you. So you just pull this out of its package here. It's got a little saw on it. It opens right up here. And then you tighten this up. I'm trying to remember how which way it goes. You just tighten that up. And you've got yourself small, but not too bad. Nice little shovel to have around, and it's also got an ice pick on the back, and then it also has a saw on the side. So nice thing to have on there. So yeah, great thing to have, especially if you're riding along. You get to dig yourself out. It's a great thing to have. You don't want to be just using your hands. Get snow in your gloves, you know. Get yourself all freezing. Carry that with you. And it folds up so small. So small. Next thing what I like to carry is just a thing of Gorilla Tape. You know, if you need to tape something up, it's good to have on. So carry a good chunk of that with you. Long lines of tape, I also carry two rolls of electrical tape or just a roll would be good just to, in case something happens to your electrical, you can tape that back together and it's also another good tape to have on around. Next thing to have around is definitely these. These are life straws so you can drink right out of muddy puddles, whatever you want. So if you're riding by yourself, you're riding off a long ways, even if you're riding with a bunch of people, it's good to have these on, especially if you're riding with a couple of people and your sleds break down, you're way out in the middle of nowhere. You need water. These are great to have on. So carry these with you. I carry them. I love them. All right, moving on. I carry this little guy. He's just a little saw. Keep on hand. There's a little saw on the shovel, but it's it's not it's not as sharp, and it's just nice to have something here. And you can use this, you know, cutting stuff for your snowmobile. Whatever you need could come in handy. All right, along the lines of keeping yourself alive, make sure you bring plenty of water. And then a first aid kit. First aid kits are super important. Here's a little hundred piece first aid kit. Fits super nicely inside that backpack and it's got all you need. You're gonna pretty much need out on the trails. In case you get hurt, cut yourself, whatever. You got this nice first aid kit on hand. Keep that with you, definitely. That's a that's a yes. Alright, so another thing I like to keep on hand is just a big thing of rope, you know? If you need rope for anything. If you're carrying a tarp, you can make yourself a tent with it. So to keep a thing of rope on hand, it may come in handy. It's super light to carry around. You don't even have to carry, what is this, like 100 feet? You don't have to carry around this much. It's 100 feet. But carry some rope with you. Also, stuff that I don't have right now, I'd carry a cell phone, maybe an extra battery pack for your cell phone. Make sure you're carrying a flashlight with you, and maybe a small pulley to pull yourself out of the snow if you need to. Alright, this may look like one thing, but it's actually two. Right down below here, we have this. What does it say? Chili mac with beef. So, just stuff you can cook it right in the can. You just have to heat up some water, throw it in there, and you can have yourself food. It's just kind of like some dried food. Keep it on hand just in case you ever broke down, you were stranded out in the woods. Keep that on hand. Alrighty. You're going to go with it. A nice little pot that folds up. You can see I haven't even opened it yet. But these things just pop open somehow here. And, uh,. Get yourself a little pot. Make sure you bring one of those with you. I forgot to tell you, if you're gonna have a flashlight, bring some extra batteries. They might freeze, but it's good to have them on hand. And then, next year we got some lighters. Make sure you bring plenty of stuff to make a fire. I carry like three things, one of them's in my snowmobile still, um, to help make a fire. And make sure you get some nice lighters. Keep those on hand to light a fire. All right, getting closer to the end, we now have this pack of information. Make sure you're carrying all your stuff so if you get pulled over, you're good to go. Yikes. I think uh, we're getting a little crowded over here. Next up, we've got the tow rope. Make sure you're carrying a tow rope, especially if, well, really only if you're uh, riding with other people so that if you break down, you can get towed. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting done. Actually, that hat I threw out in the beginning, that wasn't junk. 
this extra hat and dry it in. Make sure you bring in some dryer lint. Super flammable, super awesome for getting fires going. All right guys, that is what I carry on me with my snowmobile when we go snowmobiling in this bag right here. All fits in there. It's a little heavy sometimes, but uh, carry that stuff with you. If you have anything else, leave it in the comments. Uh, what else do you bring that is awesome? All right guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. That's my stuff, what I carry on my snowmobile. 2019, 2020, could be a whole different session. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're interested in what I do for videos. Please give the video a thumbs up and enjoy.